my new impressions vanity is here today. We're doing an unboxing. Yes, my neighbor is going to help me because it is heavy. It took two, two UPS guys to bring it in, so this we'll see what's inside. Assembly. How do you know? Because I see multiple boxes in here. Okay, so we'll see what's going on inside in a this second. Is in, this is inside the box. My neighbor said he sees multiple boxes, which is true. So it looks like these are the bulbs, five pieces of light bulbs. What's this? A light bulb replacement, right? Filament? I don't know. Another, another bulbs. We got more bulbs, five pieces. And then it looks like the main unit, which probably does not require any assembly. Let's see if we can prove my neighbor wrong and see, hopefully, because we know he'll bitch about it if it needs to be assembled. Be careful because we don't want to scratch the mirror. Do, 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 do. Do, do, cutting it open. I wonder if I should just cut the entire box open. That might probably make more sense. You know, this way we don't have to lift anything out. Yeah, so let's uh, cut the entire box open. Be right back. Almost out of the box. Getting it done. It is big and heavy. Thank God. Okay, so here's the story. I ordered one from eBay for $200 last year the bulbs completely fizzled out within like three months so i ordered new bulbs they didn't work so my electrician came over he opened up the mirror and he said that the little uh motor or whatever piece inside of the box was burnt out and it would probably cost just as much to find the replacement part then to hold it up please i am i got it in between my legs then to um just buy a new mirror so i was like you know what i've heard of the impressions vanity they are pricey i followed them on instagram let me just go ahead and splurge because they had the cyber monday sale so this one was like six like 600 and 12 with ship free shipping and tax and all that so i'm not mad at it because i really need this and i use it and it comes with all the led bulbs so coming out of the box i'm excited to see it Ooh. i do want to get the sleigh station too but um i don't know I'll, I'll see about that next, but the mirror for now is what I really needed the most. Ooh, you can see the base down there coming out. Got the whole thing coming out of the box. All right, that's the base. We gotta have to connect it to. That might be the only assembly my uh, neighbor has to put together because he wants to bitch all the time. Yeah, it looks like a lot of assembly. Looks like a lot of assembly. <laughs> it is what it is. It's yeah. It's not a lot of assembly. All we gotta do is screw in the light bulbs. Yeah, listen, it just it looked like it was. All right. Well, it's not. Everything's not always what it seems, Kenneth. Hey, Kenny is my neighbor, by the way, guys. You'll be seeing him in a lot of my YouTube videos. When you've taken a lot of bites of shit sandwiches in your life, you never take anything for granted. Any, um, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Some great old school Yonkers advice from my neighbor, Kenny, guys. With this unboxing. Yes. So here it is, guys. Woo! It's pretty big. And this is the trifold um, edition. So these corners will, you know, you could do the side peripheral views, like side views when you want to take selfies. Watch out, the base is going to fall and ship. Okay, so this is the 
bottom of the base. The nice shiny side is the up part. Yes. Oh my, oh nice. What, yes, nice, right? Yeah. So we're getting it all out of the box. Ooh, yes, this is already better than the other one. All right, now I gotta go clear out the space while Kenny puts this together to put up, uh, put this up where the old one was. So I'll be right back. So as you guys can see, this is the old mirror that I was talking about that I got on eBay for 200 bucks. It did not last long. It was a piece of crap. Um, and I made my own vanity out of a regular gray computer desk and I put the cute little glass knobs on it. I know. It might look ghetto to some of you guys, but whatever. But I like that I made the where the keyboard would go to slide out for all my brushes, which need to be cleaned. So um, I have a lot of junk and stuff. Um, so I need to get this out of the way before Kenny and I put up the new the new uh, impressions vanity mirror. Oh, and this is another cool little life hack I got off of Pinterest. This was like a jewelry organizer. So I use this for my lip glosses just to um, have them visible when I walk out the door because if I have them in the drawer, honestly, I'm not going to use them. I have a whole nother side too that I have more lip glosses to put in, so I'll show you guys that later. And I will go through some of these lip glosses and show you some of my favorites and lipsticks. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Now I'll show you the new vanity after I straighten this up and get all this junk off of uh, the top. So we have this up against the wall. Kenny's going to cut it out of the plastic. I'm going back in to clear off everything. He's going to attach the base. And then we're in business. Right. Tiff because he's like, oh, where are the screws? Can't find the screws. If there are any screws, where's the screws? Where's the instructions? I found the instructions. They were right in the front inside the plastic of the mirror. All right, so... I doubt that they're going to send us everything else but the screws, Kenneth. The screws are All right, so they got to be in one of those boxes. All right, well, I looked through one box, and it's just... Oh, there's the instructions. The instructions do not tell you where the screws are, though. I, I am going to say that. So, they do not say anything about where the screws are located. Well, FYI. Here they are. Oh, Attach Kenny found them attached, attached to the cord. Okay. We're making some progress here. Yes. About to have the new vanity. Yeah. Serving looks in the vanity. Yes, Kenneth. So we got a blanket to lay it down flat on so we can put the base on the bottom with the screws so we don't damage the mirror. So now Kenneth. I is going to put the base on. I'm going to have to hold it. So I guess I'm going to have to put the phone okay, down. So the mirror is up. This side works. I bought the tri-fold in white. There are two plugs, which are convenient on the side. My friend has this who's a lawyer, and I just fell in love with it. Every time I go to her house, I'm like, I need that mirror. So um, I bought myself one for Christmas. Um, I reached out to the company to see if they work with influencers. It's like, oh, we're so selective. We're low on inventory, so we can't gift you with a free mirror right now. But who asked you to gift me with a free mirror? When I mean, do you work with influencers? Is there an affiliate link? So if you want to go buy this mirror based off of this video, then I would get a commission like with Amazon, with Google. But you know, I'm also a verified Google tour guide. I have almost 6 million views on my reviews. So um, I guess I wasn't, you know, part of their selective process. But anyway, whatever. Who cares? This side is broken. Okay. This side does not trifold. Okay. But then there's a dimmer switch here. On and off switch. And then the dimmer, which makes it super bright. And then super dim. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the mirror. I, like I said, I got it on the cyber sale, which was, I got it for like $612, including shipping. Um, 
The company seems a little bougie to me. Uh, whatever, but whatever. Um, this is broken and the hinges won't allow you to fix it. So my whole opinion of this, I like it if it wasn't broken. And I doubt if I'm going to send it back after going through all of this. Um, I'm just going to have to rig something behind it. But it's whatever. Yeah, look, I'm trying to put a box behind it to stick it. There we go. It shouldn't have to be that way.